everyone, it's Emily. Welcome back on my channel. Today's video is going to be a like September TBR slash currently reading type of video because I'm really late for my September TBR. If you don't know, I was in Florida and I just made it back home. So things have been a little bit hectic. So reading wise, I've been all over the place. I've been starting so many books and not just not feeling like reading. Like the books could be interesting. I just haven't been in the mood. So I guess the reading slump is continuing, which sucks because this month I was supposed to hit 100 books, which is still easily doable for my yearly goal, but I thought I was going to be able to hit it this month and it just doesn't seem like it's going to be the case. So I'm just going to go through the books that I'm currently reading slash a couple ones that I'm hoping to read slash making you vote maybe to help me because I don't know what to do right now. I'm just not in the mood basically. So I have one audiobook that I'm currently listening to and it is Freakonomics. Like, I don't know how to describe it, but like the first kind of part is about um, what teachers and sumo wrestler have in common. So basically just interesting facts. And so far I like it okay. I don't know if it's gonna become something really good or just become repetitive. I'm not sure yet. I'm in the middle of it. So, so far so good. I've also started uh, reading on my phone um, Crazy Rich Asians by Kevin Kwan and I feel like a lot of people really really love this and so far I'm kind of I just don't know if it's really something that is for me. I'm a hundred pages ish into it so so far I don't know how it's gonna turn out either. I don't know, I've been feeling very blah. More books I started. The first one is The Shining by Stephen King. I've been wanting to read his books the time of the year during the fall coming up. It's a perfect time and my book is like bright yellow so I travel with this one. And as you can see, I made some pretty good progress. I'm at like chapter 22 and I'm kind of confused as to what it is. I did listen to part of it on audiobook but also reading the uh, physical copy once in a while. So you're basically following a family that goes and like live in an hotel to just like live there throughout the winter when it's closed. And the kid kind of has like supernatural power kind of feel uh, like dead people or something. So far that's what I understand of it. And yeah, I'm kind of confused so far. We'll see. I don't feel terrified, at least not yet. Maybe it's coming, but we'll see. We're gonna put it right there so you can be creeped out by the little face too. <laughs> now the book I started and just didn't continue for no reason is The Bell Jar by Sylvia Plath and I'm like 30 pages into it. All I know about this book is that it's pretty short and you're following a woman, a young woman that goes and lived in New York. I started it before I travel so I feel like it's, the story completely is out of my head right now. And then you're following her going like crazier and crazier. That's what I've heard of it and I've also read a few quotes that made me want to read it so that's kind of why it's happening. We'll see if it actually does happen. Again before traveling I started this book because I was like you know what if you're in a reading slump the two options are reading Harry Potter which I did last month and reading some Brendan Sanderson which I also did last month but I decided you know what I got this book. This is The Rhythmatist by Brendan Sanderson. It's one of his uh, YA series and I have read once again like 20 pages and I stopped for no reason. So it needs to happen because this magic system seems fascinating. Basically they draw uh, with chalk uh, designs on the floor and it can create magical things. Basically this, the type of things. I don't know, it seems very fascinating. A lot of people were saying that it's really good. So again, should happen. In my August TBR, I made you vote which book I should read. And it was kind of close between Shadow and Bone and Sith, Scythe. Scythe by uh, Neil Schusterman and Shadow and Bone won, that's why I read it that month, but I decided, you know what, since this one was pretty up there, I should try and give it a shot. It seems really interesting. Basically, it's like in a utopia society in the future where uh, nobody dies anymore, we just conquer death, and a group of people has to basically be the people to choose people to die so population doesn't keep growing. I don't know, it seemed pretty interesting as a concept. It's YA, so it should hopefully help me out of that reading slump. I also have heard really great things about this book and I think considering that I'm in a mood that is like meh, I should probably get it, give it a shot. It is Oryx and Creek by Margaret Atwood. Throughout the year I've been really into like dystopian like end of the world type of books and this one is no different. I believe this one is about there's like no more water, starving to death type thing. I don't know anything except that it is, it is a trilogy actually. 
and that a lot of people seem to think it's a really great one. So I thought, you know what, it's time I give it a shot. Now I'm making you vote. Although if I'm lucky, I might be able to get around to reading both, which I don't know. I don't even know if I'm gonna finish. I actually finished only one book so far this month, which is really bad for me, so. Which one should I read? Should I read Winter Witch by Susan Dinard, which is the following uh, book after uh, True Witch, where you're following two girls uh, that have that have really interesting magical power. One of them can tell when people are lying, and then the other one kind of see the treads between people. And this is the second book. I think you're following someone different. I'm assuming Winter Witch. So I'm excited. I did like the other one, and this one is the following book of Shadow and Bone. This one is Siege. I swear, every time a word is exactly the same in French, that's when I'm like, oh shit, how do you pronounce that? Siege and Storm by Lee Bardugo. Should I continue the series? Should I not? I will eventually, but should I do it this month? Which one? By the way, just to laugh at me, those are some more books that I started in the last couple of months and I still haven't finished. Like, Emily, what is wrong with you? Like, just stop starting books and maybe like try and finish some. And like, for example, this one, I love it, but for some reason, I'm just not picking it up. These two, it's been months. I don't know what is wrong with me lately. Anyway, I'm also hoping to start reading like creepy books for the fall. I'm gonna show a couple of them to you and you can let me know which one I should give a priority to. There's Pine by Blake Crouch, which I love Dark Matter by him, so I really should give a shot to this trilogy. All I know is that it's like a paranormal type of like police investigation type thing. My descriptions are on point today. The second one is A Head Full of Ghosts by Paul Tremblay, which is supposed to be a really creepy like psycholo psychological thriller type thing. The Devil and Nanking by Mo Hyder. This one, all I know is it's horror and that face absolutely creeps me out, so we'll see. And then last but not least, I have Misery by Stephen King, although this one is in French because I accidentally picked it up for 25 cents, but still. So yeah, that's is uh, kind of why I haven't been filming as much. I'm just in a reading slump. I'm just not feeling it at all. I have plenty of good ideas of videos, but for some reason I'm just... Slumps suck. So yeah, that's gonna be it. Um, I'm gonna be linking other videos that I've done. I recommend you check those out if you are interested in more fun videos than this one. <laughs> Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and to subscribe if you want to see the next ones and I will see you in my next video. Bye.